What's up guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits. Inside of this video, we're going to be taking a look at the five day deal. I'm gonna show you the inside, look at some of the content and explain what the difference is between the different bundles for 2021. So if you're interested in the five day deal for 2021, you wanna know whether it's right for you, this video is hopefully going to help you find the answer. Let's hit that intro and then we'll get into it. All right, so here we have the five day deal. If you haven't heard of it, don't worry, you're just a little late to the party. Basically is the biggest photography sale of the year. They get together every single year with photography experts around the world, the best of the best, and they get them to contribute courses, overlays, textures, um, photography tutorials, you name it, all this premium content that you normally have to pay hundreds of dollars for. They take several thousand dollars worth of cool goodies, they put them all together into one bundle and they sell it for $89, $128, or $157 depending on which bundle you buy. So there's the main bundle, then there's the pro bundle, which is basically just more stuff. And then there's the complete bundle, which has even more stuff. Who would have thought? Now, overall, the value, of course, is the best with the um, complete bundle because it's $157 for $4,000 worth of templates, whereas the pro is $128 um, for only $3,000. And then the $89 bundle gets you $2,000 worth of stuff. So if you're a value person, go for the ultimate bundle. If you have a few specific products that you want in the main one, but not in the pro or the complete, well, then save yourself some money, right? Okay. I've been talking really fast. We're gonna head over and actually show you what's inside. Um, you can actually peruse the sales page, go to fivedaydeal.com and see all of the kind of the overview of what's in there. But I wanted to actually take a second and walk through a couple of courses that I thought were really, really cool and kind of give you my thoughts. If I were looking to buy this bundle, which I've purchased bundles like this in the past, what I would look for, what I would stay away from, um, what is probably gonna be really beneficial for you and what might not be worth looking at or paying for. Now, this is just my opinion because every photographer is different, every workflow is different, every situation is different. So what might be really helpful for me, perhaps not for you, and what might be helpful for you, I might just say is stupid. So bear that in mind. Now, I'm gonna be looking inside of this review per se, um, I'm gonna be looking at the courses in particular. That's what we're going to highlight because when it comes to buying photography stuff of any kind, what I found after spending tens of thousands of dollars on gear and courses and uh, presets and templates and overlays, the most helpful thing you can buy in your photography game, whether you're a professional photographer or just a hobby photographer and it's your passion, most helpful thing, most the bestest investment you can make is in buying courses, actually instructing um, yourself how to take better photos rather than buying overlays or presets or templates because those presets, those overlays, those templates, they can help your workflow. They can speed things up. They can get you a slightly more polished edit. But you know that whole saying, you can't polish a turd, right? If you aren't taking good photos in the first place, you're gonna have a tough time no matter how good the presets are. So overall, all these bundles that have like 500 presets or 2,000 Lightroom overlays or 5,000 Photoshop textures, Yes, they can be helpful in some situations, but most of the time when I've bought them in the past, it hasn't actually been um, that helpful. Most of the time when I buy 500 Lightroom presets, I find I'm just not using them. I use maybe two or it's just too overwhelming because there's too many. That's why when I make preset packs, I generally have 10 in a pack because then that way you can actually use all 10 and figure out, okay, I like this one, this one, and this one. Anyways, that's just my own experience. So I'm not gonna be focusing too much on this stuff. You'll see that they are in there. So we have a cinematic photo overlays bundle. If this is your style and you like adding these cool overlays to your photos, good for you. That might be very, very helpful. So you'll see it's just a zip file. We download it. We add those overlays. Life is good. But don't be enamored <laughs> by 5,000 overlays versus 50 overlays, right? I found that in photography, less is often more. Having just a few great presets and then really mastering those and knowing your way around them will be better for your workflow and better for your edits than having 50,000 presets, which is going to have your edits be all over the map in terms of style and just never give you that consistency. You'll always be searching and you won't really know what does what. It just gets more confusing. Simple is better when it comes to photography and when it comes to life. <laughs> Such is my philosophy. You don't have to agree. But we're going to be talking in particular about the courses that are in here because the courses I think is what really makes this bundle worth buying in particular uh, this composition made easy course it looks pretty cool we'll just show you what's inside so comp composition made easy I'm gonna back up here press play so you see that it's actually on location now when you're actually looking at buying workshops and courses I very much recommend finding stuff that is actually showing the person doing what they're talking about, not just talking about doing what they're talking about. 
I hope that made sense. So basically, you're going to learn so much more by actually watching a photographer in action and explaining what they're doing than you are to watch somebody in the studio just talking about what they did to capture that photo. Both can be helpful, but actually seeing them can give you some clues and some insights into how they're interacting with their environment that you never would get by just looking at the photo and seeing them explain that. Does that make sense? So that's one thing that I really love about this course. He goes through, he talks about, okay, we're in this setting, this situation, this time of day. Here's our overlays. Um... Here's my thought process between behind my lens selection and why I'm using this lens, right? All that kind of good stuff. And so then he goes into layering, talking about finding different layers within the scene, uh, leading lines, direction, tension, journey, depth. Definitely worth taking a look at this course. Now, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna get too bogged down here because there's so much to go through. Um, it's only about an hour's worth of content. So would I pay $89 just for that course? Honestly, no, I wouldn't. But it might be worth it. It's kind of funny how that works, right? Sometimes things are worth it, but you don't want to pay for them. But just think about it. If you actually were to sit down and say, I'm going to get a photography lesson from one of the best of the best, this amazing landscape photographer, and I'm going to get him to sit down with me and explain how he takes his photos. How much would you pay for that? How much would that actually be worth? And the answer is, it could be several hundred dollars, it could be several thousand dollars, depending on how you use that, apply it, and use it to increase your own kind of bookings and whatever. Unless it's just a hobby, in which case, I don't know. Okay, vital role of contrast. Here's another course for us. Again, I absolutely love the topic of contrast because everything in photography is contrast, right? It's all about using light and dark, texture and smooth, um, happiness and sadness. Like the contrast between different emotions, different colors, different textures, different lighting, that's what really gives an, uh, an image meaning, right? That's what really draws attention and using that strategically is what's going to just improve your photography in a way that no camera gear is going to. So you're going to see there's a lot of examples of different varieties of contrast in here. We talk about dynamic range. And then we've got some different um, studies of certain scenes and how using them to create contrast. Now, would I pay for this course? $89. Honestly, no. It doesn't look like the kind of course that's going to totally blow my mind and change my photography game, but it does look good. <laughs> so I'll say that. Um, let's keep going. I'm just giving you my honest thoughts. There are a few courses in here that look incredible, and those are the ones that I would buy this for. So these ones right here, these four guys, light contouring, looks really, really cool. If you're a landscape photographer or you want to get better at editing landscapes, this course looks unbelievable. So you can see here he goes through, you're editing portraits with him, he's talking about his kind of decisions behind the editing process, the different techniques used, and you gotta see and edit along. And inside of here we've also got the raw files, I believe. There's the videos, there's the extras, where you can edit along with him. Another one over here, if we keep going. Master the Night Sky. If you're into astrophotography, this one looks really, really cool. So it talks about all the gear you need, um, how to select locations, kind of the concepts behind planning your shoot, how to paint with light. And it's really, really fun if you've never done astrophotography to actually go out there, just play around with your camera and get some really cool photos. And so I love that this gives you everything you need to get started in astrophotography and some really great videos that just make it make sense. Now, of course, it's not loading for me right now. There we go. So here we're working on an edit of this shot. And he walks through everything. He actually shows how you capture this shot in the first place. You got to see him live do it and then walk through the editing process as well. Got to do some videos on how to do star trails. All right, so here's how it starts. And then we're overlaying the images and posts, and he goes through that. That's another 40-minute video. So a couple hours of good content that's really going to get you off to a running start when it comes to astrophotography. Is it going to show you everything you need to know? Honestly, it doesn't look quite that in-depth, um, but it's going to get pretty close. You're going to be able to take great astrophotography shots just by taking that course. Okay, uh, we've got a couple more that I'm really, really excited here that I do want to show you. Let's just skip to the good stuff. <laughs> Peter Hurley's Headshot Intensive Course. Now, if you're into portraits, if you're into taking photos of people in any way, I hands down recommend you pick up the bundle that has this course in it. I'm not sure if it's in every bundle. Let's find out. Headshot, where are we? The Headshot Intensive Online. It looks like it's in the Pro Bundle. So you're going to have to get the Pro Bundle to get this course, um, but it's hands down worth every penny and then some. If I were looking to buy this bundle and you're interested in taking portraits, improving your portraits or doing headshots, obviously, this course alone will be worth every penny uh, times 10. It's going to be worth 
easily a couple thousand bucks to you because when I took this course myself a few years ago, it totally changed the way I approach portraits. It showed me how to get my models and my subjects comfortable. It showed me how to uh, interact with them, how to get them to use their face in a way that um, just maximizes their facial features. What, what else did it show me? All sorts of things, just the lighting strategy that he uses, everything to run a portrait studio. I just felt so much more confident taking my portraits as a result of this. And my photography really, really improved in a massive way from watching this course. Now, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that taking this course, for me, resulted in more bookings. It resulted in better photos, and it resulted in me being able to increase my prices. So this one course was worth probably a couple grand in added revenue as a result of taking it. So if you're interested in portraits, I'd hands down recommend buying this five-day deal just to get this course for 89 bucks or 120 bucks or whatever it is. That's a deal compared to what you're going to get out of it. So let's just show you. And what I love about this course, obviously he talks about different things. So we're talking about the intuitive factor and you can see how long these videos are. We've got an hour here, 40 minutes, another hour, hour and a half, almost an hour, right? So we've got 11, 12 hours of content where he goes really in depth into his whole process and his strategy, um, whether it's working to get people comfortable and different ways of approaching portrait shoot. He talks about his lighting. He talks about misdirection. He talks about how to work with clients. And then the best part for me is you get to actually watch him with a client. So she comes in, you can tell that she's nervous. Let's back it up here. Look at that facial expression, right? She's not comfortable. She's having a hard time figuring out what she's supposed to do, right? And within a couple of minutes, he shows you, because you got to watch everything about the session, how he works with the subject to draw out all these different emotions. And it's truly amazing to watch. This guy has a gift. You got to see all his lighting. You got to see this whole situation. And you could take this information alone, go and start doing headshots yourself and pay for this bundle really quickly. <laughs> so that is something I'm a huge fan of. Peter Hurley, great guy, great teacher. Absolutely worth it for that. So can't say enough good things about that. Uh, we've got a couple more Photoshop courses in here. We've got one called Photoshop for Morons. That really resonated with me because Photoshop for me is like the most unintuitive, frustrating program there is. So the fact that there's a course that just dumbs it down and shows you the basics, really great. And this one re really looked cool too with Ryan Dyer. He goes through, shows you how he creates these absolutely stunning portraits inside of Photoshop. So if you really want to take your landscape game to the next level and you are comfortable with Lightroom, but you don't really know how to use Photoshop to manipulate your photos, um, I'd hands down recommend purchasing this bundle for that. Now, there are a few things in here that I wasn't super impressed with, um, and that's only me. You might find that they're absolutely amazing, um, but this More Brides course, I thought it was going to be a course, and then I clicked through, and I downloaded it, and it turned out it was a PDF. So let me show you inside of here. I'm not going to give it all away, right? But you can see we've got a nice book here. It covers... A lot of different topics, uh, video reply to emails, um, viral group shot, how to kind of create group photos that will get people to share them on Instagram, that kind of thing, smarter Facebook videos, anniversary call, image SEO. So he, he gives you a lot of really cool information that is very applicable and could definitely increase the number of bookings you're getting. So although it's not a course, the information inside of here could easily be worth a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, ten thousand bucks, right? Depending on whether or not you actually apply it. And that's the real key thing here is that I have bought things in the past that yes, had I applied them, they would have made me money. But because it wasn't in a format that was for me, uh, like this PDF, I might struggle to actually get through. Whereas a video course for my learning style is a little bit easier. However, I will say the information here looks great. It's a lot of the same content I cover in my marketing school. Um, so I know that it works because I've used it myself. <laughs> so uh, that's one that's in there that I was like, meh, looks okay. Let's back up here, have a little bit more of an explore. And if you have questions about specific things in here, for the next couple of days, as the deal is still live for a couple more days, I will answer questions in the comments. If, it, if you have a question about a specific product in here, I can take a look in here for you and try and get back to you, let you know the answer to that question. If you're wondering, oh, what does this cover? Does that actually talk about this? Blah, 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 blah. I might not be able to answer every question, but I'll try. So leave it in the comments below. We've got a brush pack, some presets, sunset workflow for Photoshop. So if you really want to upgrade your Photoshop game, there's a lot of Photoshop resources in here. A lot of textures. And as I said, textures can be great. Um, but just be careful. Just because there's 500 textures doesn't necessarily mean it's 500 times more valuable than one really good texture, right? That's the real question. It's quality over quantity. Advanced object removal in Photoshop. That could be handy. So I think the real benefit of this bundle. There's a few select courses that I think are quite incredible. 
And then there's a lot of textures and bundles and stuff that might be useful to you. And then there's some that are just, honestly, you could find the same information for free online. It's just a question of whether you want to or you want it all in one easy to find bundled place, right? Uh, this actually looked kind of cool. The Makeup Midnight Fireworks Bundle. Let's take a look. Oh, we've got video lessons. Okay. So she's going to show us what? Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's a bundle of makeup brush presets. So if you're into portraits and touch-ups, this actually looks really, really cool. Okay. And then here's another tutorial on adding photo works, photo works, fireworks. So I can see this being really um, a cool way to add some images to your portfolio. The only thing is that uh, with overlays like this, I would never give this to a client because the client didn't have fireworks at their wedding. So I think they'd just be a little confused. <laughs> However, to do this and then add it to a portfolio shot, um, that might actually be really cool. And maybe for some clients, some styles, that might work. So that's kind of interesting. Honestly, not for me, but maybe it's for you. But the makeup essentials, that actually looks pretty cool. Got some different downloads here. I'm just going to keep going for a little while because why not? We're going to go in-depth. Uh, Florida skies. I'm assuming those are just sunset presets. The art of cityscape photography. Is this a course? Okay. NYC skyline. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, so he's got New York City, and he's adding some fireworks. Okay, so here's the after. Let's let's just skip ahead. There's the after. And there's before. I mean, the fireworks are a little much for me. The rest is kind of cool. Let's see this one. So it really depends on your editing style, right? Like, this might be really helpful for you. It looks like an older course. That's the one thing that I would say. It's in an older style. Like, very few people edit this way anymore. But if it resonates with you and you like it, that's more power to you, right? So there's that. And then let's skip to the end. Do not like that. Do not like it one bit. So for me, this course, not a winner. But for you, you might say, these are the best photos I've ever seen. And that's the cool part of, about photography. Everyone's got a different opinion. So it looks like there's some kind of cool tricks in here. I also tend to gravitate towards Lightroom courses rather than Photoshop ones. I know that Photoshop, you can do so much more. And I hate Photoshop, <laughs> just being honest here. So I like to edit in Lightroom wherever possible, and then I'll just polish my photos in Photoshop. I should probably show you that someday. We'll do a tutorial on that because you can get some really amazing, kind of like that extra cherry on the cake by taking your photos into Photoshop, just adding a uh, multiply layer on top of it, doing a little bit of dodging and burning. But that's a subject of another video. Portrait retouching. So if you're a Capture One user and Photoshop user, Elephant Milky Way and Yosemite Window of Light tutorials. What does that mean? I'm assuming there's just a couple of scenes and it's going to go through editing them. Oh, wow. 192-minute tutorial. So let's see where we start. Okay. So that's where we start. And then here's where we end. Eventually. We're going to find it. I believe in us. Okay. I mean, he took three hours to get from here to there. I have no idea what's in the middle or why it took quite so long. But I'm also not an astrophotographer, so probably this is way better than what I could do. I wonder if this was in the in initial shot. Yeah. Okay, so this was all done within the same photo. So what I thought he was doing originally was just replacing the sky. Because honestly, that'd be a lot easier. <laughs> Sometimes if you want a nighttime photography, you just do a composition, right? You take your foreground and then you just replace the sky out with something that's already beautiful and lovely. But he actually drew that all out himself. Looks like a pretty complicated process. So if you want to learn how to do that, photo stacking, nighttime photos, very helpful. Let's check out this one. Try and find the raw image in here somewhere. Okay, so that's where we start. And we end up here. Cool. So it just depends on your style, right? Is that something that you gravitate towards? Uh, for me, not so much my thing. I feel like this shouldn't have taken an hour and a half to do that 
that much. But maybe he did a whole bunch of other stuff I don't understand. He probably did. Okay. And then that's it. So I think that's that's what you got to bear in mind with some of these courses is it seems like a big course and then you actually open it up and it's a couple of videos at the same time. Just because it's not super long doesn't necessarily mean it's not super valuable, right? I've had courses where 20 minutes of content showed me more than 10 hours in some other video. But I've also had videos that are 10 hours long that really go in depth in a way that the 20 minute video could never. So something to bear in mind. Unfortunately, I can't show you every video. I can't show you every section and I can't go through everything because there's just so much. So in summary, would I recommend buying the five day deal for 2021? I would say if you're interested in portraits, absolutely for Peter Hurley's workshop. If that's even of a little bit of interest, absolutely. If you want to get better at editing landscapes, absolutely. This is going to be very helpful. If you are a wedding photographer and you want to book more weddings, there is a wedding email pack in here that if the emails are good, and let's say you just booked one more wedding from the result of using these emails, these templates, well, of course you should buy this thing because it's going to be hands down worth it for you. And there's this other wedding guide that we went through that's going to make it worth it too. People that this may not be for so much, um, if you want to do street photography, there really isn't anything on street photography in this particular um, package that I've seen. Uh, what else? People who want to learn how to use Lightroom, there's a few Lightroom tutorials in here, but most of it is leaning more towards Photoshop. Um, other than that, honestly, for 89 bucks or 150 bucks, the amount of value you'll get out of some of these courses, I'd say is going to be worth it, um, especially if you're a pro photographer. So if you make money from photography or you want to, then this bundle is going to be, of course, it's going to make sense as an investment. If you're just an amateur who's looking to have some fun and learn some stuff, maybe. Right? It just depends. If there's a couple courses in here that look really, really cool and amazing and like perfect for you, go for it. If there isn't and you're just buying it for the sake of like getting all this stuff, that's where me personally in the past, I've done that and I've been like, that was kind of a waste of money. <laughs> so don't kind of get enamored with all of the stuff in here. Go through, say to yourself, okay, what is really, really good in here? This one, two, or three things that if these are good, it doesn't even matter if I don't use all the other stuff because you probably won't. There's just too much in here. That's how much stuff they put in these bundles. Um, but hopefully this is at least giving you a better idea of kind of what's inside, what you're looking at when you buy the five-day deal. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, hit the link in the comments or the description or wherever it is um, to buy it from my particular link. And if you do that and you email um, hello at signatureedits.com, I will send you a free pack of presets. So... Just email hello at signatureedits.com and send me a screenshot of your purchase and we'll hook you up with a free bonus. So that's kind of the bonus for using that particular link. All right. Hopefully, hopefully at this point you're ready to make a decision. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking because I've been blathering for a long time, but just wanted to go through in depth and tell you what's inside. So I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.